I knew in 10th grade that I wanted to be an art teacher because I remember sitting in class creating something and that's something that you don't always get a chance to do in school and it just felt right and it felt like I could combine you know what was on my mind with what was in my heart and make it something tangible and I thought it was a very rewarding thing. Wow, if I was to have to choose the proudest moment of my career I'd have a really hard time. There are so many moments I'm proud of and equally and but for different reasons. Could it be when Daniel Miares dedicated a book he illustrated to me? He is now master artist at Hallmark Cards. He illustrates Bambino and Mr. Twain and dedicated it to me. That was a real Kleenex moment. It was not just about the classroom. It was about how she can let people outside of the classroom, in the school, in the community, in the, uh, well, in the state, find out about the talents of her students. And I think that makes her a role model. The first time I really uh, I got involved in anything that, that Eva was doing was when she hosted a, a Zoom uh, event for her kids. And Zoom is just a video uh, conferencing software, but she used it several times, uh, one to talk to a former student uh, who now is in the leading one of the graphic arts departments in, in, in Amazon. I think he's responsible for the main page. When you click on Amazon and open it up, you see there's a lot of graphic design there. He's involved with that. Could it be when I was published for the first time? I wasn't in it for the money. I just wanted to know whether or not my words would be valued outside of my school. I wanted to know whether or not what I had learned and what I had created could be of help to other teachers. And since then, I have um, been published four times and have submitted three more articles. Sometimes she would be wide open at school, <laughs> especially on dress up days. That was one of her claims to fame at Hillcrest High School. My favorite, and this is, this is really the most disgusting too, it was the turkey that she wore on her head. She put her, her head into the turkey, so it, 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 it was the turkey, life size, about ready to be roasted on the top of her head. I think the, some of those special projects I talked about earlier are really, to me, a way that she's impacted other teachers. And if you think specifically about the art, um, the art world or the art education world, uh, Eva's ideas have been shared and bounced around not just the, the county but on a national level. I think she made lots of connections also with the teacher portraits connections with students, the students that painted them, but also she inspired other students to do that. She um, made connections with faculty members that probably wouldn't have even thought about the art department until they saw that portrait of them. She still keeps up with her former students and she takes great joy in that. And I think all of those things combined, that, that makes a true teacher. And I think Eva Ezram is one of those. It is an absolute honor to be in this position, and I hope to do Greenville County proud. And um, I'd also like to say that I am proud that the first teacher who receives this honor is an art educator. <laughs>